Hey everyone, it's Christina from American Root Flower Farm. So right now we are going to plant some seeds in these Vego beds and we have them filled with soil. I will have a link um, in the video to the videos of, um, of me building these beds and then filling them with soil. We are going to plant, I don't know if we'll get to all of these, but we have a snap sugar daddy pea uh, sugar snap pea, short and sweet carrot. I've grown this one before, I think a few, um, a few years ago. We have a cilantro, blue lake stringless green bean, parsley. I bought pumpkin, but it's not quite time to plant pumpkin yet. So we're not going to do those yet. What am I losing here? I'm losing some peas. They're spilling out the bottom. Oh, Oh, snow peas. Oh, I have them upside down and I open them. I'll have to pick those up. Um, we also have chives, another type of carrot. And then I have an asparagus. I have a bare root asparagus here. That is a perennial. This is the only perennial that I have to plant in here right now. Uh, it's already starting to grow. And then I also have coriander seeds, bok choy, and Korean, and I'm gonna to try to pronounce it, S-H-I-S-O. And this is in the mint family, and it's, an, um, it's a type of herb. So what I'm gonna do is this larger bed, which is a nine in one, this one is gonna be the vegetables, and then the circular one is gonna be herbs. So let's get started. So we're in zone 9B and uh, it's February 1st today. Our last um, expected frost date is usually mid-February, but I looked at the weather uh, for the next month and it doesn't show any frost in the forecast. So I am gonna go ahead and plant um, frost tender plants. Um, if I do see it, um, the, if I do see frost in the forecast, then I will come out here and cover them um, when there's supposed to be frost, that way it protects them and uh, they stay alive through that frost. And this is Gabe. Hello. Uh, he's helping me today. Chives is good for um, good for uh, the bad bugs because it keeps them away because the smell is so bad that they don't like it. That they, um, yeah, bugs don't like it. So we're gonna go in a circle. So we're gonna put one variety um, in a complete circle and then do that five times with all five um, varieties. And I think all of them have to be covered with a quarter inch of soil. And uh, we're gonna seed pretty heavily and then I'll thin them out later. So the first one, what was that? Oh, parsley, huh? Yeah, parsley. So we're putting the shorter varieties on the outside and the taller ones in the center, that way they don't get blocked. That way the taller ones don't block the shorter ones. Um, let's go. We'll do the quarry. Oh wait, we already, Cilantro is coriander, so we already planted this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll just go the mint now, yeah. The, yeah, cilantro is, is, is coriander. And that was the second one we planted. I'm gonna put this asparagus, it's gonna go, I'll put it in this corner here. Oh, the vines, we're gonna put the vines on the outside, on the back side. So the peas and the beans. That way they can grow along the fence kind of, I think. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go carrots. Um, or we'll row of carrots down each side over there. See, you wanna read yours and see what yours, that pack says down there? Yeah, this one says, that's on, uh, one fourth through half an inch. Okay. So that's like these ones that we planted over here. 
Oh, there's a lot of seeds in here. Like, grow. Oh, uh-huh. If our, if our water is bad, we don't take four and... Oh. Away. Oh no, it's raining a lot! <laughs> like all of a sudden. Like it was first it was raining around us, now it's like on us. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. Um no. Uh, so it rained on us when we first planted these and so we are going to um I uh it's just me now. Uh, I'm going to plant the rest of these seeds. So I think that we had, we just, we finished the herb bed and we planted the carrots, I believe. Um, I know I planted the carrots on my side. I don't know if Gabe planted them on his side. I'll have to check with him. Um, and then I will fill this in later if he had not done that. Um, but I did find another pack of carrots in the house. These ones are from Baker's Creek. Uh, these ones grow extremely big, um, depending on their growing environment. Uh, if the soil is deep enough and loose enough, they will grow um, very big. Um, I also found a uh, hispis, hypis, uh, anis hypis, hispis, which is, uh, I think it's an herb, but I want to say it's also a cut flower. And then I'm going to do the sugar snap peas. I'm going to do bok choy. Uh, Gabe got these from a seed library in Santa Clara, California. Um, the Sugar Daddy. Snap Sugar Daddy, they're called. Um, a Lake Green Bean. Uh, this is stringless. And so that's what I'm going to plant right now. These carrots, like, um, they like the cooler weather, so that's why I'm planting them now in the, um, it's still winter, actually. The hispis grows to be 30 and 6 inches tall, so I am going to, um, plant this one in the back because that's where, um, the sun comes up on this side over here. This is a hoop house. <clears throat> this is a hoop house. Sun comes up over here, and so there's some trees back here that block the sunlight. Um, the hoop house is going to block the sunlight. But this will get the afternoon sun. So I'm going to plant these um, back back here. I think right here in this corner I will plant them because I'm going to do beans um, in the back. And while I'm back here, I will do the peas. The Sugar Daddy Peas are a, a miniature variety, a smaller variety. They are three inches. It might be a little too early for these ones. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go bok choy in the center. Covering these with a quarter inch of soil. So right here is still available. And then right here is still available also. And so um, I will decide what to put there. Okay, so um, that's it. Those are the vego beds. We put them together. We built our soil for them and we planted them. And uh, I will keep you guys updated on this. Again, I will link um, the uh, vego beds um, over here so you can check them out. And they will also be in the description below. And I encourage you to um, find something that you can grow. Find something that um, something you like, some vegetable or a flower or um, a fruit, strawberries, something that you like to eat and um, make a little spot for them get a little bed, make a little spot, and uh, grow something. It's fun. Okay, so I just remembered that I have drip line to put in here, but um, I don't have to do that yet because we are still in our rainy season. So I already have um, drip irrigation set up out here. I have the, um, the main line coming out over here. So I will just plug into that, uh, the quarter inch tubing, and then put it into the beds. It'll be super easy. 
Um, but I don't need to do it right now because uh, we get plenty of rain. But yeah, that's it. Um, uh, thanks for watching. I have some straw flour out here that I need to cut and dry. And so I'm going to do that right now. But uh, thanks for watching. And remember, keep your hands dirty or clean if you wear gloves or if you use your hand trowel. All right, thanks.